Welcome back, mate. Fucking, what's going on? Just living the fucking dream, right? <laughs> yeah, living the fucking lockdown dream. Living the lockdown <laughs> dream. Well, we're right. We're, we're like, we've just come out, so we're happy. No next. more cases? I don't know. I haven't been watching the TV. It's just depressing. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> propaganda, mate. <laughs> Fuck, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. <laughs> um, yeah, so you're still obviously in lockdown. Yeah, we're bad. Where like what you would call stage three, I believe, may possibly stage four in some areas. Yeah, like a three point five. Yeah, I'd go with a three point five. Yeah. Lucky I'm not in the the point five area. I'm just in the point three or <laughs> stage three area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, Queensland's just gone into lockdown, I believe. <laughs> right before a comp too <laughs> it's always it's always right before a comp like it's it's same shit happen. dead on every motherfucking time yeah it's like wherever the state comp is for the year they go into lockdown they at can. that fucking time so victoria went into lockdown before states um <laughs> yeah just fucked so um obviously so, with that being said queensland comp is uh caught off postponed cancelled not sure yeah well i mean it's at the echo which is like yeah. an easter show for example i mean yeah. here in sydney we've got the easter show so they would probably try to avoid you know a massive fucking people in one spot yeah, yeah. and especially it's uncontrollable as well you can't have a four square meter rule in a place like that no it's just it'd just be fucking mayhem <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah Mm. All right, so it looks like I'm not going to Queensland. So that's, where are you going to go? I was, I was, I was. Maybe don't, don't secretly bullshit. don't bullshit. Just fucking say yes or no. Yeah, I was. Uh, it's not a secret now, but I was planning to secretly arrive and just fucking do the old. How's your uncle behind the shed? Just fucking. <laughs> 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 Just uh, like an ego um, always. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on, guys. <laughs> uh, fuck. So that's not happening. Um, so that's zero comps for me this year. I've done jack shit. What? You mean, so there's still more to come. Yeah. So we've pretty much got uh, over the top in November. We were Adelaide as well, I think, in sometime Can, before that. Two months. Adelaide one. Okay. There's an Adelaide one, yeah. So the previous Adelaide one was, uh, they call it the Real Cup. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so it wasn't the AAF mm. state titles, but then again, it was, I'd consider it, it was like a state title. Yeah. Mm. Um. All right. So there's still hope that I can fucking compete this year. Yeah. Um, like, so, but that being said, theoretically, mm. where, where would you have placed Super Heavies? You ain't, mm. you ain't under 95, eh? In what? You're looking way too big. Oh yeah, I would have been in supers. It's like, bro, I'm like 112, 113 kilos. Fuck yeah. yeah my- <laughs> That's sick. I know. So I'm just living large. Um, you reckon you would have been top dog? For which comp? The fucking Queensland. I don't know. Just fucking say it. I was, Go I was going there to fucking win. <laughs> <laughs> I was going there to fucking win. Yeah. Because yeah, I had Marcus, um, Atirai, Jordan Davis and um fatali were all competing mm. and i've got and i've had my eyes on all three of them and you know fatali recently called me out for a super match not long ago yeah i've, I was wanted, for that. That was good. I've wanted a <laughs> match with jordan for a little while um since your match with marcus i'd love a match with him but it, it would have just been fucking perfect i yeah. would have tested you, myself against every one of them too exactly right and now yeah. now it's not gonna happen fucking classic fucking yeah. bullshittery mm. um <clears throat> But yeah, I digress. Fucking some some cheeky news from the <laughs> AAF. <laughs> yeah, some real fucking cheeky news just came out. Yeah, mate. So, um, I mean, surely everyone in the Australian scene's already heard. Um, but if you haven't, and to any international personnel, uh, the Arm Wrestling um, Federation of Australia, Arm Wrestling Australia, 
released a statement um, updating their policy um, in relation to the anti-doping scheme. So um, from that day forth, for all future comps, I think state and nationally, there's yeah, going to be- state and national, from what I read. There's going to be some drug testing. Um, Is, uh, did you read the policy? Or did you, do you know more than I do? Basically, I just saw the post and that was about it. Yeah, I, I'm still yet to actually download the, um, all of the, yeah. The PDF. The PDF of all yep. the documents and legislation yep. policies in place. Um, I just want to know what's the selection going to be like? Is it winners have to pee in a cup? Yeah, I, I would say it's, um, if I had to guess without actually looking into it, I would guess it's either going to be randomized or a top three, um, top three place specific testing yeah. protocol. I can't imagine it being fucking randomized unless it's random prior to the comp. Yeah, I, I, look, I would say that it's in the best interest of um, the federation to test top three. Um, but because the demand's not there um, to test too many people, if you just randomize it, you're less likely to actually... Um, yeah, get an, a, get, was it a positive result. Yeah, find those cheeky positives. Yeah. Um, but then if you do find someone, like this is a, I don't know, I think a valid question. But if you do find someone in the top three, how do you um, adjust the system, basically? So, yeah. you know how we got that ranking system and <clears throat> how we um, do our seating and stuff? Mm. Yeah. Say I, someone gets, number one gets caught for fucking doping. Do yeah. You, how do you fix that uh, in the system? Yeah. Because I take great, great pride in being like fucking heavyweight number one on the left yeah. arm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, those are all good questions. Um, I mean, that's if you know, if you don't, then fucking we might have to get a, um, an official on, on the show, Matt. Yeah, fuck it, where's one? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think, um, it's a really good step forward, um, from a recruitment point of view, getting people into the sport. Um, and yeah, it's, it's also gonna phase a few of these it's going to shake things up <laughs> yeah. so but some yeah. of these top dogs are going to start you know showing to events i think <laughs> yeah yeah fuck should we should we name a few no. <laughs> <laughs> you might just got me list here <laughs> <laughs> i think we all know we all know a few at least yeah but um yeah Matt. so look look at that it's all in the spirit of i guess fairness yeah. No, well, I don't know. It's on your. It's your opinion, I guess. Yeah. Um. It really opens up you, Jordan, and I to taking that number one overall spot in Australia. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's Ooh. gonna be fucking interesting. Because then I, I really don't see mo anyone else really. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Look. To be fair, I'm sure there's still going to be, like always, a few people on stuff that are still going to take their chances and potentially... Yeah, get past it. Avoid the barracks, yeah. yeah. And just, just bypass it. So who knows? Yeah. I still think it's not that big of a fucking deal. As in, like, someone taking something. Who cares? So. Yeah. I look, I think at the end of the day, when you're at an elite level, um, you start to care less because beating someone on the juice is so so satisfying <laughs> oh fuck yeah it is but like from a <laughs> from a um you know the perspective of newbies and amateurs that feel like they're out of their out of their depth yeah being thrown into the deep end with yeah. you know seemingly inhuman people yeah it just gives them nothing to look forward to so yeah yeah, yeah. um so you're not wrong hmm. you know what um, else is good about it though yeah. Um, opens up more avenues for sponsors. It, it just further legitimizes our sport. It, does. it really does. In Australia, at least. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, because you think about all of the potential for, you know, um, just growing the sport, um, you know, external organizations and whatnot, federations, sponsorships from, you know, um, places where it wouldn't be possible without drug testing. You think about how many federations and organizations out there don't want to be associated with 
um, any form of performance enhancing drug use and whatnot. Yeah. Um, and if they had that kind of, you know, understanding and reassurance that it's a clean sport, then they're more likely to want to associate. Yeah. It's generally a reflection of whether it's their company, their brand, whatever. So yeah, like you said, it's going to open some doors. Yeah, it is. Mm. And it's actually really exciting that there's, um, there's money in the budget for these sorts of things as well. It's another big step forward, mate. Yeah. Uh, Fuck. Yes. Exciting times ahead. <laughs> yeah. Whenever this fucking COVID shit blows over. I oh, know. Oh, yeah. No. Um, look, we've got some exciting bids today. Today's been a fucking eventful day. I'll just, I'll, I'll put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> so Keep matches on. Yeah. Uh, we've got, um, Curtis Cameron, aka Pork Chop, versus Ian Carnegie. Um, I think they might have been, I think apart from Devin and Matt Mask, I think that's your number one guy in Canada. Curtis? Well, whoever wins out of them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not too familiar with the people in Canada. I just know yeah. Brendan Lemon. <laughs> yeah. And then um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All righty. So. Let's get straight into it, Mark. Fuck yeah, can't. Oh, I love doing these fucking reviews. So I haven't watched this. Just saying. You haven't? No. Fucking buckle up. Fucking what a chunky boy, mate, honestly. Yeah, I think Ian Carnegie was 375 pounds. <laughs> Jesus. Straight away. I can already see elbow fouls fucking galore. Yeah. From, uh, from, is that Ian on the left? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's Ian. Yeah. I think um, Paul Chop's only like 250 something pounds. It's a yeah, lot. He's short too. He is. So he's a lot lighter. So, yeah, that might, that's a bit of an upset. Um, but I think that was an elbow foul. So they're restarting. Yeah. He, yeah. Came up a couple of times. <clears throat> Um, it's just, he's huge. 375. What's that? It's like 160. Oh, uh, more. Close to 170. Fuck. Here we go. Jesus, Curtis. That was, that was, that was just shoulder. Yeah. Like, you know when you, your side pressure just... Is so much stronger than your opponent. You can just yeah. move your arm without your body. Yeah. That's what that was. Fuck. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. This is like cardio for Ian, though. It looks like oh, he's going to yeah. have a fucking heart attack. Fuck. Yeah, I see what he's doing. Just taking it all away. That's yeah. It, really? That, that wasn't even a pin. I think Ian just gave up. Yeah. And I'm, I'm following Pork Chop on Instagram and I've been following him a bit and he's just, he's been so confident in himself on, on his form and he just looks so, so strong. Yeah. Ian's diving into that hook and he's just not. Yeah, he's not changing it up though. He's not really doing anything different. I thought he was, um, he pulls better in straps. Hmm. And we know Ian's had a good match with Mike Halo at the last Well event. How long ago was that? <laughs> wow, two years maybe? Yeah, okay. I think it was 2019. So we know what level Ian's at. Look at that! Yeah. That's it's like... Just, that's... That's Ian's fault, man, right there. He's full turning his body away and just yeah. leaving his hand behind. He just looks like he's overwhelmed, though. Yeah, yeah, basically, like, Curtis is too much. So he's just... I know he's strong when he gets his shoulder in, but he's making this look too easy. Fuck, yeah. 
That's a big win. I think, isn't that Curtis's That's, first big win? Yeah, that, this is huge. Yeah. As I said, apart from Devin and that mask, I don't know who else would be, um, I don't know who would be above Curtis. He might be number three in Canada now. Yeah. Um, right-handed at least. Fuck, man. That was just... That was just dominant. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, it was just way too powerful just like this match coming up <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> speaking of one-sided matches yeah right so we've been look we've been waiting for you know the first stage of top eight for a long fucking time now yeah and they've been hyping it, the and they've been hyping time it. Too. <laughs> but, but it's really hard to look forward to this match when you're almost convinced you're gonna know the result yeah. um <laughs> you've got vitaly who's what six foot eight yep and then Crassy, who's under six foot, I imagine. Yep. Um, yeah, look, Crassy lost to Dimitri Siliev um, at the last Zlotti, I think yeah, it was. Yeah, 2019 Zlotti. Mm-hmm. Um, he beat, I think he beat Alex Kodecha before that. Yeah, when they had like the match of like, or the best match of all time, basically. Yeah. And that was an amazing match. Um, and look, Chris is a really likable guy. It's really not. It's, it's really hard to not like him. But yeah. when when he's against people like Levan and Vitaly, you just it's so hard to get bet against these guys. Um, just to quickly segue, because I read this the other day and it blew my fucking mind. Um, and it's actually really sad. But Dimitri Siliev, I, I read an article that. Um, he was done oh, for a, a robbery. A robbery. Uh, uh, robbery. <laughs> um, yeah. And him and his accomplices may be facing up to 10 years in jail, which is yeah. real. Which, if, if that's the case, there's his armor and career gone. Gone. Um, yeah, so <laughs> it's really weird circumstances. Um, it, it reminds me, like the last time I heard something bizarre like that was. Um, Ted Bartak Zolov. Bartak Zolov. Yeah. When um, yeah. I'm pretty sure he was imprisoned for he, I think he murdered uh, his girlfriend or something, something along the lines of that. Yeah. Don't me on it, but it it was murder. Yeah. Okay. I can't remember who. And it's really sad when you get these elites um, that find themselves in these troubles. But I think in, in the relation to Dimitri Siliov, you know, it looked more like a financial, financially motivated um, incident. Yeah. Um, which kind of reflects, especially during so, COVID, how you know athletes really in our wrestling aren't really getting paid. Yeah, to, I'm to make a living. sure. I'm pretty sure Siliev is also uh, Vitaly's training partner. Yeah, he but, is. That that they would there's well, up until recently there was so many training videos yeah. them two together. So, um, so yeah. he's not only in prison, Siliev. Vitaly's lost a fucking gun training partner too. Yeah. So I think he's on house arrest at the moment. Um, yeah. But we don't know what's going to come of that. Um, yeah, it's just bizarre times. So. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I'll leave that there. So let's get straight into this match. We all kind of think, and we're all on the same page. We think Vitaly's just going to be too dominant, which, you know, I won't say anymore. What blew, what what blows my mind, right? Is it looks like Crassy's trying to meet Vitali, like at at that high top end, and you can't at that at his height. Sorry. Yeah. And yeah, it's it just to me that doesn't make sense. But yeah. Then again, I'm not there, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. You think he almost, especially with Vitali's low hand, you think he almost needs to come lower on his yeah. hand. Yeah, that's right. Um. But like no one's been able to stop, with the exception of Levan, no one's been able to stop Vitaly in a long time. Yep. Um, how the how do you get around an arm that size? It's just stupid. Like, yeah. If I man, I feel for Krazy. That guy's been preparing specifically for I know. Vitaly for like over a year. <laughs> I know. And, and I know, you know, Crassy's such a hardworking guy that 
Dude, six days a week. His aim is to be the best arm wrestler in the world. But when you get these genetic anomalies that are training just as hard as you, how do you, how do you compete? You can also say like the, the fucking PD usage on these top eight guys as well. I know well, Kraz is a, doesn't use it. Man. He, he doesn't. It. He really? It. Yeah, he preaches it. Uh, I was an interview with, I think it was an interview with him and uh, uh, Supernatural Strength Channel. I can't remember his name. All mm. of a sudden it's just lost on my tongue. If that's the case, Jesus Christ, he's come a long way naturally. Fucking oath he has. Well, he has my respect then. Could you imagine what a freak he could be if he was on stuff? I reckon he's probably at his like genetic limit. I reckon he probably is as well. And then if he just gets on, fuck. <laughs> he's been at an elite level for a long, long time. Yeah. Like decades he, almost. Yeah, and he's, he's 32? Is yeah. Fuck, it's nuts. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you look at Vitaly here, he's looking a lot stronger than he did at the last top eight. Like all of his gym lifts have gone through the roof. Yep. Um, he's given Crassy a bit of time to work here. He's kind of he's still hooking, keeping him. Yeah. Keep it, it's, he's not. He's not quite allowing Crassy into his his hook power. Yeah. But he didn't have to flash pin to win. Um, I think that was round five. Yeah. What a unit, man. Honestly, Natalia's. It's, it's, it's ridiculous <laughs> that, that you kind of have to be a Levan to be able to do anything with this guy. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, Vitaly set up for a hook that time. You could see he set up lower. Yeah. So he's let Crassy right in there. It's at the center of the table. Yeah. But he had no issues getting out of his yeah. hook. So, it's insanity. Fucking hell. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, we it's all hard. knew it. We all fucking knew it. Yeah. It, it is hard to look at one-sided matches like that. Yeah. You uh, just feel for the guy. You do. Feel for the lose. Uh, for the, you do. The guy lost, yeah. Um, so, this brings us to the main event, Matt. Fucking oath. Um, 57 years what old. What do you think of this? What do you think of this? Like, for me, I see John struggling. Yeah. To pin chance. Like, he just can't get his cut. And that fucking worries me, especially if he's going against guys like fucking Prudnik. Oh, why well, no, He's doing 95. So, he's on goodbye of... Mm. Um, Oleg Petrenko. Oleg Petrenko. David. Um, uh, yeah. Dadikin. Dadikin, yeah. Yeah. All them kind of guys. Yeah. Oh. But what I say here is this is an out of form Brzezink. Um, This isn't a prime job for top eight. Because with all the uh, postponements of top eight, I think John just lost a bit of interest and motivation to stay in form. No, so. I reckon he's in form because he had the comp two weeks prior, which well, he got ready for. I, but the thing is, I watched an interview. Um, oh, it might have even been with Devin. I'll, I'll track it down. Um, yeah, and have the conversation. Yeah, and he was kind of saying he was in and out, like he hadn't been doing too much and he'd slacked off here and there. So I don't know. He said he was feeling healthy and good, but I don't think he was like as strong as he could have been. Okay. So I don't know. No doubt he was in good shape, but I... I don't think he'd be walking in that form like he would for top eight when the time comes. Yeah. Um, I fucking hope so. But nonetheless, Chance looks really fucking strong here. Yeah. Um, you can see he's, he was shitting bricks. Like, he was nervous. Yeah? Yeah. Like, Chance is genuinely pretty con um, reserved and composed. composed. Yeah. yeah, that's weird. But you could... Obviously, it's fucking John Brzezink. He's... You know, <laughs> like this is the this is probably going to be one of the biggest matches of his lifetime yeah and that's not going to undermine his career in the future this is just fucking John Brazilian. how many people get to compete against John so yeah let's let's just um give it a fucking whiz all strap matches of course yeah um John has the buckle side so 
Chance would probably have the advantage in this, this first round. But yeah, as soon as you've, you've slapped off his um, Chance's pronation and you've he stuck him. He's still got a good arm behind it. He does. It looks like a really good static arm, but it didn't look like he was in a position to transition to anything else. I'll be honest, I started sweating at this point. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah. you, you? John tried to engage a hook in that second match. He Look did. at it. Look he at it did. closely. Yeah. He definitely did. But he knows he can't hold him in. <clears> hmm. <throat> Chances uh, back pressure must be through the fucking roof. It really would be. Yeah, I'd be sweating there. Yeah. But even like, that's I, I, pretty mega yeah. to do that. But fuck, John's renowned for being able to fucking come back in these positions. Yeah, that's true. But like, you know, when people get in these positions and their wrist goes and then they lose everything. Yeah. John, he's losing his wrist a bit, almost flat handed, but he just, he just holds on. Yeah. He's constantly pruning into, the, uh, into his fingers though. Yeah. Just to, yeah, it's to keep him away from his power. Yeah, for sure. So Chance got a good yeah. um, early hit there. Yeah, he fucked himself up. Chance is looking really big at the moment. What is he, like 300 pounds? Yeah. Oh, he's trying to go for a press. I wouldn't, I wouldn't fucking do that. Ah, this, yeah. there it is, that iconic fucking press. <laughs> yeah. The last time I saw him press like that was against... Um, well, one of the times was Yoshi Kanai. Yep. Fuck. That was sick. Is that Travis? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he was um he was emceeing naturally, just lights up the crowd. Um I'm pretty sure that sign said never been beaten. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I mean, oh, look. Good match. Chance should um Bro, he's pat himself on the back for that. Fucking oath. Like how many people can say that they, you know, not only got the ch the chance to arm wrestle John, also get around on him too, get around on him, give him a match, yeah, because um, we saw John recently against Cody, Cody Merritt was it? Yep. Um, made easy work of him. We know how strong Cody is. Yeah, way for champ. Yeah, mate. Fuck. This just like it makes me fucking mad because like I just want to compete. Yeah, I know. But as Australia would have it, we're on yeah, fucking big fuck, big fuck you to arm wrestles. Yeah. <laughs> Locking so, down every comp too. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think um, to anyone that didn't believe in chance, they fucking do now after that. Yeah. Because like that's a thing, like you don't even have to win to to be taken seriously after that. Like yeah. As long as it wasn't the complete whitewash, man. It exactly. Sign. 100%. Yeah. Um, so what did you think? What were your predictions um, for um, Chance and John? What did you think the score was going to be? Because I picked a 3-0-3-1, which John's way. I was going to do 3-2 because of the straps and mm. what they agreed on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I thought it was going to look... Um, yeah, really similar to Matt Mask, 20, yeah. 2014, 2015 or something. Else. Around there. Yeah. Um, yeah, some elements of similarities, but like I was expecting John to, to be able to sink a hook, to be honest. I didn't think he'd have to resort to top rolling every time. Um, I reckon out of straps, it would have been a fucking whitewash. Yeah. Absolutely whitewash. Yeah. Fuck, like, man. And his ability to fucking get a hook top roll and completely deny you all at, all at the same time yeah yeah that's where oh, john's man. true like goat status really comes from it's just his yeah. fucking control but, but that's the thing like fuck like you could see when you know when he when he won he did his fucking his celebration iconic. Like, <laughs> it's iconic it's like is, is there nothing this man can't fucking yeah. do like, <laughs> seven still getting pins on the new coming elite yeah. 
So he's just been around for, you know. He fucking like transcends fucking like the generation of pause. He does. Doesn't matter who you are. (laughs) He's one of the very few that, you know, arm wrestles, it's been arm wrestling for, you know, he's been arm wrestling for longer than we've been fucking alive. Fucking and, he's, and he's been... Twice as long, man. And it's, and it's not just arm wrestling. He's been, you know, world level, if not the guy for fucking decades and decades. Like, I remember when I first got into arm wrestling, first thing I watched was Pulling John. And I was like, this cunt's my I got you in it, eh? Yeah. Yeah. It's free on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> it <laughs> is. where I've watched it. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm um, obviously... Over the top. That was based on John Bazink. Yeah, uh, he was, th- there was quite a few cameos in that movie, by the way. Mm-hmm. Like John was in it. Fucking Cleve Dean, yep. Alan Fisher. There was heaps of people in it. Yeah, and the main villain too. He was a kind oh, of um, arm wrestler as well. Yeah, fuck. What was he? He recently passed away. Um, what was his name? Can't remember. Can't fucking remember. Yeah, massive fucking guy. Yeah, huge. You know, fuck. There's also um, don't end it there. There's also Larry's fucking Larry's yeah. New York released yeah. a new video with Marcio, uh, Mike. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. So okay. So I saw Mike Aylo post recently saying that he was going to train with Larry in September, and they did an El Sneaker on us and fucking. What yeah. like a fucking but, month earlier? Yeah, <laughs> they they delivered the goods. So I was like, fuck oh fuck yeah. You know, like I find really funny is with Mike um, Aylo's fucking fake tan. He looks just as fucking black as um, Larry Hill. <laughs> 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 oh fuck yeah. So Mike was obviously too strong for Larry. Left-handed, um, he wasn't. Left-handed, and Larry's left, mate. Yeah, but Mike said, I quote Mike. He said a fucking um, a twelve year old girl could beat his left. <laughs> he just fucking hates his left. Yeah. I don't get it, man. Must be a yeah. Brisbane thing. Yeah, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Um, Marcio Barbosa was in there. Yeah, he looking, looked, he's looking stupidly just, strong. Disgusting. Yeah. Um, so clearly, he hasn't been sleeping during COVID. Because no, women, you don't see seem... it's not as bad. No. As in, like, restriction wise. Yeah. Just... Well, where, where does he live? Do you know? Fuck if I know. No. Is, is he living in the US or? Yeah. Yeah. He's definitely in the US. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So he just looks fucking. He just looked like a, a Devin Larratt prime. Yeah. Just no one touched him there. Yeah. Naturally, fuck. I, I thought Mike Aylo would have given him something. Um, yeah, you'd think so, but no. Nah. No. Nah. So <clears throat> I want to see him compete. He hasn't really done too much since Well, and Well, he's done the four, Fatal 4-Way. That was his most recent. Are you talking about Mike or Marcio? No, 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 Marcio. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I haven't seen him compete anyway. Because I know he beat Tim Bresnan a few years ago. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, he's been in well against the usuals. Like, I think Matt Mask might have been his last well event. Yep, and he got beat. I think he didn't lost he? three one. Yeah. Or did did he versus Todd Hutchings at all? Yes, and Todd Hutchings won. Yeah, Todd Hutchings won. Yeah, I think that was before Matt Mask though. Okay. All right. Yeah, but yeah, we haven't really seen him in action for a long time. Um, so I want to see where he's at. Yeah, he's one of those guys that don't really. He's never on, uh, he's either on the podium, either third or possibly second, but he's always right there. <laughs> he's, he's just right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wonder what it is. I know he's got a small hand relative to his size. His yeah. Body size. Um, I, I think that's where he, because the thing is, when you're bursting people like um, Matt Mask and Devin, they've got big hands. They're all six foot five fucking figures. Yeah. Um, and Mask used to be a, like a 90 kilo guy. Back in the day. Well, but we're talking 90s here. Yeah. Like, Actually, um, Marcio beat Krasimir at well. I think that might have been his uh, most oh, recent. Yeah. I forgot yeah. about that one. Yeah, that was 2019, wasn't it? Or I think so. Yeah. That was a that was a fucking sick match. Yeah. Because you usually see Krassi in those long grinds. Yeah. 
and he just bleeds everyone out. But yeah, this time Marcia was on top. So, you know. Fucking no. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, quickly, fucking Devin, <laughs> speaking of Devin and Matt Mars, <laughs> see that you saw the video of them two training on that, that little water raft, whatever I it was. I just saw the, um, the, what's called the thumbnail. Yeah. It was pretty funny. <laughs> they're just slowly being towed along yeah. by a boat and they're just, they're just training. <laughs> Fuck, and that's what you want. Like just two, two, you know, top two Canadian arm wrestlers in the middle of fucking nowhere, just arm wrestling. <laughs> yeah, Sitting mate. on the rib bank fishing, you see that shit, you're like, what yeah. the fuck? <laughs> just need a fucking few Jimmy Beams. And we'll be yeah, oh, mate, don't, don't talk to me about Jim Beam. <laughs> it's a love-hate relationship there. It's, uh, it's a cheeky Sunday and fucking Jacko's just called. So I reckon uh, might be I'll see, I'll see you next week. <laughs> yeah. Might be due for a cheeky drink. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Oh, do you see um, Robbie's back in Victoria? He actually got back. He's back. So he's he's done his fucking um he's done his you know little quarantine. Um, yeah. and yeah, we just had a session last night. I hadn't fucking seen him in like three months. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, that calls for a drink. No. <laughs> in my fucking books. Yeah. <laughs> but he's um yeah, he's feeling strong. Um he's as his left, his left is just fucking his left his left's feeling really good. Yeah. Um, really, really good. Um, you know what? Like sometimes less is more. Like he hasn't been doing a great deal. I mean, He's been just, training with those boys up there. But yeah, like just, just just table time though. He hasn't had a chance to do any gym or anything. Right. But like me, yeah. like gym lifts don't fucking matter. Yeah. Honestly. That's what but I'm then, Yeah. Yeah. I can't say that because I fucking train, but like <laughs> <laughs> but like I wouldn't base anything on it like if i can back pressure fucking 60 kilos it's not gonna be the exact 60 kilos on yeah. the table it's all 100 percent. yeah it doesn't yeah. translate directly yeah. yeah so i never base anything off of it no no i mean but, you know, I, I beat robbie in pretty much every gym lift ever yeah um but on the table there's certain angles that he just feels stronger than me yeah yeah so, i felt that on him too yeah i mean you know how do you how do you work that out when someone doesn't go to gym? Yep. They just do table time. So that jump is in quite just fucking table time, table time, wrist yeah. curls. <laughs> fucking wrist curls only. <laughs> just wrist curls. <laughs> but um, yeah, so yeah, like you said, he was training with um, the Burnettes a lot. Um, yeah. He did, a, he did a king of the table with like that whole squad. He, they, they, he, how many times did they have to go around oh, to actually beat him? It, it took a while. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Yeah. Even with Sambo, Sambo there as well. Yeah, Sam Bennett couldn't touch his left. Yeah, um, his left's fucking mega. But you know, no one gives a fuck about left. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in this country, no one cares. No, make fucking left arm great again. Yeah. All right. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, fucking let's wrap her up because I'm thirsty. Yeah, fucking no, no worries. <laughs> it's a sin to hold back a fucking my That's boy it. from drinking. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> I'm getting the fucking sweats. <laughs> yeah. All right, see you fuckers. I'll catch you guys soon. See you.